Hello, my name is Łukasz Wroński and I'm from Gorion Software House. In this quick video, I'd like to show you how to start using Cypress I.O., which is E2E testing framework. E2E tests are kind of tests that runs inside of browser and simulates the user behavior, the user interaction with website or web application that you wrote. So far we've used Selenium for those kind of testing, but Selenium got a lot of flaws and problems. Uh, basically it was written 10 years ago, so it's not really in line with modern web applications architecture. Uh, and Cypress IO works a lot better with them. In example, asynchronous actions were always a big pain for developers to, te to be tested in Selenium. With uh, Cypress IO we don't have that kind of problems. Another thing that uh, Cypress IO gives us is the UI that is really informative and gives interactive debugging capabilities. So uh, it's a lot easier to find problems with your tests or interpret the results of the test with that tools. Uh, to start, we need to run our console and just type npm install Cypress. We'll save it. Uh, right now it will download Cypress. It might take a while, so I'll be back with you when it's done. Okay, so the installation finished and we can start writing our first test. What we need to do is go to folder Cypress and then integration, create a spec file here. A spec file will contain all our tests. Let's call it Gorion underscore io spec dot js. Uh, in here we can describe how our test suit will be called, so let's go with describe and call it Gorion website. The syntax here is very similar to all other testing frameworks that you can use with JavaScript. Inside of it we can write our first test with it function. Uh, it should display Gorion website. It calls another function and in this function we can use all the stuff that Cypress gives us. In example we can write CI viewport and in this we can specify on what device do we like to test it. We can go with iPad. Next will be CI visit, which will open the browser and browse to the website that we point here. Let's say https.gorion.io. The final step is to check whether the website is displayed properly. So we can do it by, for example, determining if the title of the website is the title of Gorion's website. So let's say CI title should include and in here we can say Gorion Software House. And that's it. Right now our test is ready to run. So we can do it with npx cypress open. It will open Cypress's UI. Okay, it took another minute to start. Uh, in here we can see Cypress UI, which shows our spec file here. We can start our test by clicking on it. Right now it will open Chrome window and start running the tests. Uh, few things happen like really quick here. So let me explain what, what, what we just saw. Um, on the left side, we can see all the steps that happen. The whole history of the test is on the left side. All important events are shown there and we can go back in time just by hovering an item on, on that list. The first thing is viewport iPad 2 and what it did, it just set the size of the screen that we're testing the application to match the iPad viewport. Uh, then the next step was to visit the Gorion site, so we can see that it was visited uh, at this point. And then there's assertion that we made. It expected uh, the title of the page 
to include Gorion Software House and of course it did so. The tests go well and it's all in green. And I guess that's it. That was our first test written with Cypress.io. Thank you.